Hello, thank you so much for your purchase and your patience of my Karen special. I'm going to talk about what's blocking you financially, messages from spirit, and insight upon love. So, let's go into your energy. I feel like you need to be be mindful of the way that you present yourself. Um, just pay attention more, observe more before you speak and watch what you say. I'm picking up uh, like you may take better care of your teeth or your focus will be on your teeth really, really soon. Maybe you need to be careful. I just keep picking up on teeth. Uh, so just like I said, be aware of what you say and be aware of what's being said to you. Okay, but let's see what's blocking you financially. The messages. Gonna flip these cards over. Then inside upon love, two cards. I feel like you are meant to be with someone, but I feel like you need to heal. And um, just understand that you deserve, you know, better and really, really good. Okay, so financially, I feel you need something that's going to balance you out mentally and emotionally. And I feel that if a job like there's more emotions and there's not enough logic with the job or the job is like really like mental challenging and then emotionally it's sucky i feel like if there's a an off balance then it affects you financially either you spend more yeah i feel like you just spend more i feel like you could be making a you could be making more money So I guess just be mindful of how much you're making or just find a job that can satisfy you financially. I feel like you need to put your foot down or there needs to be just uh, you need to be more stern with your money I will say. Be careful of you spending your money on weird things. So this is really tying into me talking about um, like you're, you're spending your money like you're trying to fill emotional voids. I do sense that there's like a love-hate relationship with money. So try your best to like think more positively, I will say. I do feel that like you need, either you need to leave a job or you need to walk away from the way that you view money. I feel like you shouldn't let money control you or burden you or worry you. Because I'm seeing that it's stressing you out. And I feel that like you need to do different uh, different things to save your money. So maybe set a routine for yourself um, by adding in money every week or every time you get paid. Because I'm seeing that there needs to be a new strategy with the way that you want to grow your money. Because there's growth there for you. I just feel like you need to do something that you can stay with. And something that you enjoy doing. To be honest. In due time it will come. But during this time. Just figure it out. I just feel like you just need to figure it out. You seem really smart. So you'll be okay. Messages from spirit. You have a lot of swords cards. Funny because the king of swords was with your finances. Now you have the queen of swords and the nine of swords interesting so be careful this is yeah be mindful of your appearance so you may be coming off really cold or just unapologetic or just mean or maybe you feel that other people are this way with you maybe there's an emotional lack within your life there's a sense of sadness um well, not really sad. Well, maybe sadness. It's just like 
not really regret but just dread like a lot of dreadful energy around you for some reason I'm, I'm hearing like you need to coach yourself you need to like be your own cheerleader like you you need to really be your own support system during this time because I feel that yes there may be other people around you but either they aren't understanding you or they're doing their own thing I feel that um, a part of you feels alone or you feel sad in the back or you feel betrayed I do feel like you can be a bit hard on yourself and you need to stop expecting the worst so much yeah, the, you need you need more warmth and a more em, like emotional contentment within your life. I will say during this time, and you need to get yourself out of danger. I feel that you put yourself in weird situations and like subconsciously, like you know something isn't right, and you know that like you need to wait on it, but you just still do do it anyway for I don't know why, but I don't know. So you need to trust your intuition way more and take your own advice especially if others are asking you what to do I feel like someone is looking at you or they're looking up to you I just feel like someone is watching you whether this is your angels or a manager or like a family member there's someone looking up to you I feel like this is a sense of respect like they're looking you they're looking at you to like okay let me see what they're doing but I don't feel like this is a hate with it I just feel like oh I respect this person you know like let me keep an eye on them yeah you need more happiness insight upon love okay this is interesting this could be the one and separation so I feel that maybe you are going to meet someone really, really soon and there needs to be a separation upon your old expectations upon your previous relationships or maybe you're going to meet someone and you guys kind of need to separate yourselves to come back together again. If that makes sense, like you're coming back together stronger. I feel like right now with what you're dealing with, um, Relationships may be affecting you if you are in a relationship or if you want to find love. Yeah, I feel like if you are dealing with someone or if you have dealt with someone and your heart is saying, I really, really love this person, like your heart, your spirit, like everything in you was just like, yeah, this person is the one. He needs to grow up or she needs to grow up or you need to grow up. And there needs to be a separation. Like you guys, you're kind of toxic together right now. So spread out. But I feel that like you will come back together. <sighs> yeah, I do feel like there has been a betrayal with love. And this has affected you greatly. But honestly, like I said earlier, I feel that you need to just focus on yourself. You, great, you greatly do. Don't let love be your main focus just figure out your own mental world right now hopefully you enjoyed this reading good luck with everything hope i hear from you soon take care bye